Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a near full face of Sisley makeup because not too far away there's going to be the Sisley is the family and friends sale and this is a great time to try something new since Sisley is at a discounted price or to buy backups. So I've done my skincare for the morning, the last step being sunscreen. So now I'm going to put on some primer and I'm going to use the Sisley one. This is the double tensure and I have a backup of this. This is a really lovely primer. It's more on the pricey side but it definitely adds something extra to the whole foundation look. It's really lovely. So I put about one pump and a half on of this primer so I'm just going to dot it round this does have a fragrance I would say that nearly every Sisley product does have a fragrance I think this gives a beautiful canvas to the face before you start putting on your foundation and it has it has that slight tackiness to it so those of you that haven't seen my other videos, I am 54 years old and I have oily skin. It's now spring here in New Zealand. So the temperatures are a little warmer than it was say a month ago, but not as hot as it's gonna get in the middle of summer. So my skin is oily but not excessively oily like it can get during those really hotter months. So as with all my other primers I'm just going to let this sit for about a minute and then apply my foundation. So I've actually got two foundations from Sisley. One is the Sislaya, it's the Le Tint, it's the anti-aging foundation. This is really beautiful and just gives a gorgeous softening effect to the skin. Really beautiful. And I've also got the Sisley, the Fito Tint Nude one. This is the one that I'm going to wear today. The other day I did wear this and it is just beautiful. It's just that I have so many different foundations because I have this YouTube channel. But I pulled this out and after I wore it for the day, I've now put it to the side on my table here just so that I remember and I'll wear it more. It is a really beautiful foundation. The Fido Tint Nude is really gorgeous as well. As you would guess from the description of it, it is more sheerer than this foundation here. It's a light foundation. I think from memory, it's been a little while since I've worn it. It's a light sort of towards medium. So you just pour the foundation out. Hopefully it's not too much. I might need, even need a little bit more. And it is quite runny. And I'm going to put it on using a beauty blender. But first of all, I'm just going to just dot it around just the left side of my face first. Now this has a fragrance, this foundation. This isn't... It isn't overly strong though, and it dissipates really quickly. I think this foundation gives just a very beautiful natural look. Now I'm, I'm going to build this up a little bit more. I just want it a little bit more than that sheer coverage, just so that it's a strong light. But I think it looks really, really beautiful on the skin. So just what's left on the sponge, I just put some in my eyelid and I just tap some under my eye as well. Then just dot some more on the other side. And once I've finished the side, I'll just have a look and just see if I need a little bit more coverage in different areas but at the moment I think it's actually giving just a really beautiful coverage you can still see a tiny bit of a little bit of redness through here a little bit of my sunspots as well but I'm not going to add I don't think I'm going to build up more than this I think this just gives a really beautiful evenness to my skin and I quite like it when the natural part of your skin still shines through. I think that is what keeps makeup looking very natural. So for the concealer today, I'm going to use the Sicily. This is the Fido Eclat, and this is in 
shade 2. This is the one where it's in the tube and has the steel applicator and it does feel beautiful when you put it on. So you just do the smallest little squeeze there. And one thing about this concealer that I like, it's really a corrector in one. It has a little bit of a peach undertone. This goes really well with my mature skin. I would say it would be a medium coverage concealer. It's certainly not full coverage, but it's very hydrating and really moisturizing. And especially when you've got mature under eyes, that's the type of concealer that you want. So you can see the coverage on this eye compared to this one here. I think it looks very natural and it is a really lovely concealer. And like I was saying, this cool tip, when you press it on your eye, it just feels really, really beautiful. So even though I've dabbed quite a lot along there, you can see there's hardly any product. So you can apply it with a brush if you want. I tend to apply concealers really using my finger. I always think that helps it meld into my skin better. But the coverage is, again, just like the foundation, it is very natural looking. And really, that's what Sisley Makeup is all about. There's really nothing too out there. It's all about just, just perfecting your natural beauty. So I've just done my eyebrows, put eyeshadow primer on and powdered under my eyes because for those three things, I don't have Sisley products. But I do have the Sisley face powder and it is in shade number two. So I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the face one. And there's quite a bit of powder just inside here. So I'm just gonna tap in there and just tap inside there and just buff in just a very light layer of the powder. This powder is really beautiful. It gives a gorgeous, soft, blurred look to the skin. It's really lovely. And for a bronzer, I'm going to go very light and I'm going to use, this is the Sicily, this is the Fito Touche. And this comes in two different shades and I have the lighter one. And what I do is I just swirl all of these together and it really gives a beautiful look. So the overall look that I'm doing today is one that is very light and I think this goes perfectly when you're doing that type of look. It gives, this just gives a very gentle sun-kissed look. So when you're putting this on, you can concentrate more in this area if you wanted a bit more darkness, or you could even possibly use this one as a very light blush, but I just like it when they're all swirled together. I think it gives a really beautiful look like that. So for my eyeshadow, it's going to be a very simple, natural look, and I'm going to use one of the Sisley Single Eyeshadows, and also one of the Sisley that is the liquid eyeshadows as well. So I'm just going to use one of each. Now I have four of the Sisley single eyeshadows. So I'll quickly show them to you. I have got Silky Chestnut. This is a really beautiful color. And what I'll do, I've only got four of them, so I'll swatch them on my hand so you can take a look. So Silky Chestnut first. Then I've got Metallic Khaki. Now in these little shadows there is one little applicator that comes with them, but I'm just taking them out. So this is Metallic Khaki. Really beautiful. So I'll swatch that one next. And the next one that I have is Matte Coco. And this is the one that I'm going to use today. This is a really beautiful shade. So that is Matte Coco. Swatch that one there. And the last one that I've got, this is Silky Rose. And this is a really beautiful light color. So if you're looking for something just to lighten up an eye look or just have a very simple wash of color, this is really gorgeous. So this is Silky Rose and I'll just swatch that one last. 
So I'll just hold them up. So Silky Chestnut, Metallic Khaki, Matte Cocoa, and Silky Rose. So just like with my other videos, everything that I'm putting on my face, it will be linked and listed below separately. But because this is for the Sicily family and friends, what I've done is two separate links and they appear first in the description box. And one shows all the Sicily makeup that I have. So the whole lot of Sicily makeup that I have, not just the ones that I'm putting on my face today. So you can browse through that. And then I have another link and that is for the Sicily skincare that I've tried and tested and the ones that I really like. Also for the Sicily hair care, because there's two items that I've tried so far that I absolutely love, and also Sicily fragrance as well. So it just makes it easier if you're interested in what I have and what I've used in my collection. So I'm going to take the Sony G, the Blender Pro, and this is the one at Matte Coco. And let's put this in the outer corner. This is a very, very simple look. Take it through the crease, and I'm only going to take it just, just slightly above as well. So just so you can just see it when I've got my eyes open, but I'm not taking it all the way up. I just don't think that's really what Sicily products are about. It's really just, just perfecting what you already have. So I've put more of the dark there, but just what's left on the brush, I'm just going to take that all over my lid as well. Now I'm also going to put this shade on my lower lash line. So for that, I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the pencil one, and run that under my lower lash line. So you can see that the shadows, they blend really beautifully. There's no patchiness whatsoever. So for the liquid eyeshadows, I've got number one and number three. I will swatch these on my hand so you can take a look at these as well. I'm only going to use one of these shades today. These are really beautiful. I think they're easy to apply and they also have great longevity as well. Really beautiful. So this is the shade number one. And this is shade number three. And number three is a really beautiful rose color. And this one is more of a champagne. So number one is the one that I'm going to be using today. So with liquid eyeshadows, there's a couple of different ways that I apply them. I do the same with the Chanel ones that I've got as well. So you can either with the doe foot, Put the product directly onto your eye and then take a brush and then blend it out. Or if you want to, you can also put some product on the back of your hand and then get a brush and apply it that way. One thing with these, they do dry down, it's just like with any other liquid eyeshadow that's going to stay put. They dry down fairly fast. So you want to do just one eye at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it directly to my lid. Just in here and then I'm just going to take a raffer brush and I'm going to get the raffer 28 and then just gently just pat it through and then maybe just take a little bit up through here as well so they have to dry down because otherwise they wouldn't last on your eyelids but you don't really need to panic with them it's just that I would just do one eye at a time. So sometimes when I put these on, it goes over the dark shadow a little bit, but that's not really a big deal. Once I've put this on the other eye, I'll just have another look. And if I need to add some more of that cocoa eyeshadow in the very outer corner here, I will. So now I'm just going to pop some on the other eye. I think these are really easy to use. And I also think they give just that beautiful lightness. But the thing with them is that even though it gives a little bit of a sparkle, a little bit of a shimmer, it's all very subtle. And I also find that these are just really flattering 
on my mature eyelids. I don't think that they emphasize my texture at all. So I may just add just a little bit more of the cocoa eyeshadow in the corner, just a little bit. Just so I just keep that depth through there. But I think these two shades together, I think they look really beautiful. And what I do with these liquid eyeshadows, if I want to add some just through here, I use something like the Refin Number no. 3 brush. Now, when I place it on my lower lash line or in the inner corner, I tend not to use the doe foot that comes with these. What I do is I just dot some on the back of my hand, put the brush into the highlighter, and then just run it across. So I'm not going to put any in the inner corner, but I'll just put a little bit, just a tiny amount, just through here, just to show you. So take the doe foot applicator, put the product on the back of my hand, just a little bit because this does dry down. So just do, again, just do one eye at a time and just run a little bit of it just through here, just so you get that really subtle lightness. So I do have three Sicily eyeliners. I have sparkling brown. I also have, I think it's called, it's mystic green. And the last one I have is Sparkling Grey. Now, I would show you Sparkling Brown, but I have used it all. These eyeliners are really good. I find that they are waterproof, they do not transfer, and they glide on the eye really beautifully. So I can't show you Sparkling Brown since it's run out. So I'll have to get another one of those eyeliners because I use brown eyeliner a lot. But I will show you Sparkling Grey. So this is Sparkling Grey. And then the other one is Mystic Green. And that is beautiful as well. And that is Mystic Green. Really gorgeous. So once these have set for about a minute or two, if I go to rub them, they will not budge. Once they are on, they are on. So what I'm going to use for an eyeliner, I'm just going to do it on my upper lash line. I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow that I used, Coco, the one in the outer corner here. So I'm just going to just grab a smaller brush. These are soft but really dense. And I'm just going to pack the shadow in. So I'm now going to put some mascara on off camera because at the moment I don't have a Sicily one. Now I have tried two Sicily mascaras. I've tried the volume one and I've also tried the Sicily It's the So Stretch. Now out of the two, I prefer the So Stretch. I think that is a beautiful mascara and it really does lengthen your lashes. It grips onto them and you get this really beautiful length. I didn't really like the volume mascara very much. Now I know mascara is a very personal thing and what works for someone might not work for someone else and vice versa. But I really did find that the Sicily volume one, it did clump a bit, but I really liked the So Stretch one. So that's the one I've included in those links that I was talking about earlier. So I'm just gonna pop on some mascara off camera and then I'll be back and put on some blush. So I do have quite a few Sicily blushes. I have these two beautiful ones. These are the orchid ones, really beautiful. I have the one in rose. It is just stunning. Now I'm not gonna put either of these on today because in my recent videos, I have been using them. So if you wanna take a look back at the videos I've been doing the last two or three weeks, I have been using them, and this is the one in coral. These are absolutely stunning blushes, really beautiful. The other ones that Sicily have, they are also gorgeous. These are the Lafito blushes, and they come in this packaging here. I have number five in rosewood, I have number three in coral, and I've also got number two in rosy fuchsia. Rosy fuchsia is a it's a pretty full-on color, but you can go very lightly with them if you want to, to still get that beautiful hue. So that is rosy fuchsia. These are really smooth. 
these are a beautiful formula as well. The next one that I'm going to swatch, this is the one in coral. You can see how much pigment they have. They are really gorgeous. And you can see when I start blending it out, how beautifully they blend. And same with this one here. Once you start blending them, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And the one that I'm going to use today, this is the One Rosewood. Again, very pigmented, so you've got to go fairly easy with it. But I love the shade of this one. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So Rosewood is the one that I'm going to use. And the brush that I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Chukahodo one. This is the, this is the F03. And I'm just going to very lightly tap. I hardly touched in there, and that's how much pigment you get. Now, because this is a really light look, I'm just going to put on the lightest amount. Now, I could easily build this up if I wanted to, but I just want that slight flush of colour. That is really enough, but they do build up if you want just that more pigment but I think just like that for that beautiful wash of color I think this is gorgeous and they blend out beautifully don't emphasize the texture on my skin at all just gorgeous now the other day when I wore this blush what I did is I used the shadow that I used on my eyes I used it as a highlight as well so again, I'm just going to place some on the back of my hand. I've still got all my other swatches. So <laughs> my hand's pretty full there. So I just dab a little bit on the back of my hand. And then just with my finger, pick up just the tiniest amount. And just dot it onto the cheekbone. And I thought it gave the prettiest highlight. I think it looks really gorgeous. So by using that as a highlight, it's very, very subtle. It just catches the light when you move your head. So it still goes with the whole very light, very soft makeup look. And then for lipstick, I've got three of the Sicily. These are the Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks. These are very similar to the Chantecai ones. I think these are a gorgeous formula. I also have one of the Sicily lip glosses as well. This is in the shade Aurora and I wear this one by itself. So I will swatch the Fito Rouge Shines, the three ones that I have so you can take a look. The one that I use the most is number 10 and that is Sheer Nude. It is really beautiful but the other two shades are very pretty as well. So first of all, I'm going to swatch number 10. This is the one Sheer Nude. This is a really, really beautiful shade and I wear this one a lot. The next one I've got is Sheer Petal. So I've got Sheer Nude and Sheer Petal. And then the last one I've got is Sheer Blossom. So this is the one, Sheer Blossom. So Sheer Nude, Sheer Petal, and Sheer Blossom. And then I'll also swatch on my hand the lip gloss that I've got as well. It is a beautiful lip gloss. And often I just wear this just by itself. It's got the slightest amount of tint in there. And I think actually that's what I'll wear today, just the lip gloss by itself. I love the formula of these, but I also enjoy wearing this by itself. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll just put it in to pick up some more product and just wear this just all on its own. I think it's really pretty. And I've spoken about it before, but the reason why I love 
sheer lip glosses and lipsticks is because they're just so easy to reapply during the day. You don't even really need a mirror. You can just take it out and pop it on and you know that it's going to look really good. So finally, I'm going to put on a fragrance. So I've got the Sicily. This is the Zia Le Nuit, which means at night. This has quite a few different notes in it. The main accords of this one are rose and it's floral, fruity, there's also woody in there and amber, patchouli, it's warm, spicy. There's also a little bit of citrus in there. It also has musk in there as well. The top notes in this perfume, they are black currant, mandarin orange and cardamom. Middle notes are rose, magnolia and freesia. And the base notes are patchouli and broxen vanilla. And there's also some labdanum in there as well. Now, this is more of an evening fragrance. I think this is really sexy without being too much over the top. My husband really loves this fragrance. It is very beautiful. And I think what keeps it from being too heavy is that you've got is in the top note, you've got that mandarin orange in there. So it just stops it from being just that too heavy. But it definitely is more of an evening fragrance. It is really beautiful. I'm just going to smell it now. I haven't worn it for probably two or three weeks. I try and rotate through my perfumes. It is really beautiful. You definitely can smell that musk in there and a bit of the woody notes as well just gorgeous and you do get a hint of that citrus as well it is really beautiful so here is the final look and it's all very soft everything is just perfected the eyeshadow and the liquid I think look beautiful. It is very simple, but again, I think it is very effective. Without eye makeup, I tend not to have eyes at all. So just that little bit just brings them to life. The Lefito Nude Foundation is beautiful. I think it gives a very natural look to the skin and the powder over the top is just gorgeous. The blush is beautiful, and I love the liquid eyeshadow as that highlight as well. And of course, the lip gloss is just really pretty. So just all together, Sicily just give this very beautiful, natural makeup look. Now, I do want to chat a little bit about skincare. I'm just going to mention two or three things. As I said earlier in the video, I will have a separate list for that. Those are the items that I have tried, and I do really like them. What I might add to that list with some of them though is that some moisturizers, I mentioned that I have oily skin, but with my nighttime routine, I don't mind if I use an oil or a really heavy moisturizer. It's just for the day, I tend to go for something just that little bit lighter with my oily skin. So I'll pop a little note next to the moisturizers and serums and let you know when I use them either morning or at night. Now, one of the first items in that skincare list, that is the Triple Oil Balm. It's called the Makeup Remover and Cleanser for Face and Eyes. Now, this is unopened. I'm just going to leave it that way for a while because I've got a couple of other cleansing oils and cleansing balms that I'm using at the moment. This is the third Sicily balm that I've brought. It is absolutely beautiful. It's in this beautiful light blue container. The balm just smells very fresh and sort of like has a linen smell. It melts really easily into the hand and is just really beautiful at taking makeup off. This wouldn't have been my third one if I didn't like it so much. It really is a beautiful cleanser. The other one in that list, and I haven't bought a backup of it yet, and I think it's called something like the foaming cleanser that is really beautiful and when you think of a foaming cleanser when you pump it out it is a foam but when you put it on it feels more like a cream it is really moisturizing 
beautiful, beautiful cleanser. So I'm not gonna go through everything that's in that list. You can take a look. But one thing, and this is the second sample of it that I've got, and I'm going to buy the full size of this. I'm probably gonna pick this up if I can, duty free, when I go overseas next month. And this is the Sisley, this is the Velvet Sleeping Mask. So this is just like an extra nourishing moisturizer as your last step in the evening. Now why I've kept this aside is because I'm going to take this on the plane with me because I am going to do my skincare on the plane. It is a 12 hour flight and once I've had my dinner then I will do my skincare for that evening and I'm going to use this as my last step. Especially when you're on a plane you can get even more dehydrated and although I have oily skin it can play havoc a little bit with your skin. So I'm going to take this with me on board, use this as my last step and I know that it's going to really nourish my skin and then when I wake up I'm going to be all hydrated and plumped and ready to put on my makeup for when I get off the plane at the other end. The other thing I want to mention is that I've now tried a couple of the hair care products. I haven't tried the shampoos or the conditioners but I've heard really great things about them but what I have tried is the two different hair masks that they've got. Now I've never really been a hair mask user but I was given a few samples one of the regenerating hair care mask and I've still got two samples left of this I've used this twice this is really beautiful so after you've shampooed your hair and then it's damp you pop this in and then leave it in for 10 minutes and this nourishes right from your scalp right through to the end of your hair and just leaves your hair really beautiful and shiny. The other thing that I bought, and I'm definitely buying the full size of this, and I was given a really decent size sample. I've used it twice and I've still got enough in here probably for one or two more applications. Now this is the Restructuring Nourishing Balm and I'll put a picture up here of what the full size looks like. So it really looks like to be a, a cleansing balm and it sort of is for your hair. Now this you leave in overnight. You can pop it in 30 minutes just for a really quick nourishment for your hair before you wash it. But the two times that I've used it, I pop it in in the evening. And I wasn't too sure at first. I thought your hair would be all wet throughout the night, but it's not. So it works just like a cleansing balm, really. You just take out a little scoop and you massage it between your hands and it goes into this really beautiful oil and you just run it through all your hair and then I just pop my hair up in a loose bun and sleep in it like that. It has the most beautiful smell. I put it in last night, shampooed it out this morning and I think that the ends of my hair and all through here just look really moisturized. I think this is a fantastic product. If you don't want to use something like this where you first have to wash your hair, then get out of the shower, have damp hair, put it in for 10 minutes, then jump back into the shower again, this I think is a great alternative. Although the two products do separate things. This is more not really for your scalp, it's more through your hair, just through the strands and for the ends to give that nourishment. Whereas the other product, this one here, that is more where you can massage into your scalp and right through to the ends of your hair. But between the two, I really love this one. I love it that when I've done my skincare for the evening, I can just quickly put that through my hair pop it up on top in a loose bun, sleep in it, and then just wash my hair in the morning. And I think it makes my hair look really healthy. I think it is a gorgeous product. So I think that's all I wanted to mention for the skincare that I use. As I said, there is more in the list. I have tried them. They are beautiful products. If you want to ask me about any of them, feel free to do so and I'll try and answer as best as I can. I just let you know again that my skin is oily. I do not have dry skin. So it is really difficult for me to answer questions whether this would work for dry skin. Of course, if it's a moisturizer that I know is a really thick one and only one that I would use at night, then I would say that it probably will work for dry skin. 
but I will try and answer your questions the best that I can. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed, and I will see you next time. Bye.